Hey dudes, what's up bros? Now, look, let's throw back the years. Little old Mr. Hairs, me, 12, 13, 14, 15. I lived for one thing, and one thing only. And that was Marvel films. God damn was that the shit. I used to watch them all. I've seen them all multiple, multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. I used to watch every YouTube channel who would break them down, repeating themselves. My God, it was the highlight of my career. What? It was the highlight of my life, my years. I used to, I remember going to the mid night showing of Endgame, but before that, so leading up to midnight, I watched Infinity War. I remember leaving that thinking, wow, Infinity War was not a good film because I wanted to watch Endgame so much, realising actually Infinity War is the better film. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there's been a certain decline in Marvel stuff. Now, Miss Marvel, I have to admit, I haven't seen it, but it looked terrible. I mean, look at the views though. People liked it, 98%. I'm not sure if this is like lies. It must be lies, bro. I mean, you can't comment on stuff you haven't seen, but, like, I'm gonna do it anyway. It looks like lies. It looks like it'll be terrible. Got the dude in from Walking Dead who loses his head and put on a spike. What more do you need? What else has come out? Ant-Man 3. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was so bad that I actually, like, felt bad. I felt like I'd wasted my time. I, I'm just glad I didn't spend money on the ticket. That's how it felt. Oh, my God, that was so poor. Why is Paul Rudd here? What the fuck? His name is in the title. He's number one. He's the only slightly good thing about the film. And Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Now, let's not pretend this was Marvel's doing. This was all James Gunn. And they have lost their best asset. Their best asset has gone to their direct competitor. It's only going to get worse from here. Only going to get worse. But I actually really enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I'm a heartless bastard. Soulless. Merciless. I have no love. I have no feelings. I'm like a witcher. However, that that made me really emotional. Black Panther, I have to admit, I wasn't the biggest fan. That one, not the biggest fan. Spider-Man Way, No Way Home was amazing. But only because I'm a huge Spider-Man freak and I even like Andrew Garfield. He's my favourite Spider-Man. Come at me in the comments. He's the best one. Take it. He's got the worst films, but he's the best Spider-Man. That's the truth. If you don't like it, get stuck. Out of all this, I noticed they were bringing out another film for some reason. It, it's like they're regurgitating shit. They're like, we, we just can't stop. How do we stop spewing this rubbish out? Oh, it's too late. We've already made 20 things that are coming out in the next two years and they're going to be absolutely pants. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to watch this and then we can laugh with each other how bad it's going to be. Carol Danvers. Prodigal child of the Milky Way. Nick Fury, my favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. Dude, you can't do that. That's really, really quite offensive to people with one eyes, Marvel. That's fucking disgusting. It will not happen in my fucking world. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favour. How many times have we heard that in a Marvel film? Or just any film, to be fair. You took everything from me. You took it all. Now I'm going to get revenge. It's the most used line in the whole of the world. It's so annoying. Think of a better phrase. Whenever we use them. A terrible premise for a film. Can we just appreciate it now? Before anyone says anything, I am not a sexist pig, and because there are no men in this film, I'm not gonna go watch. Nick Fury's in it, alright? He counts as a man, but it just looks shy. It looks terrible. I could totally show you. No! This dumb bitch didn't realise that she just said, she gave the answers that you swap places when you do it. This is why I'm not seeing the show. I can't stand little kids doing dumb little shit. Home. They've even run out of weapon ideas. That's bloody Ronan's gig. Ronan had that, didn't he? Like, what the hell? You, they can't even think of an original weapon anymore. They have to steal from 10 years ago. Higher. Further, faster. Just get in the bin. Get in the bin and quit. Who wrote that? I'll tell you what, that's AI generated because that is embarrassing. I felt like I just died internally. Who's a good kitty, Gus? Oh my god! I can't. Can you? I got it. That looks so bad. 
Look, I, I understand the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover, but I think it's fair to say we all do. No one goes through their life not judging a book by its cover. Now, that book cover looked shit. It looked so bad, I might actually kill myself. She's done... What was that? I mean, that, that was remarkable, wasn't it? Fucking hell. Who wrote it? I want to know the writer. Oh, so she was involved. Just a bunch of writers. I'll oh, see, they just get the same person. Look, I think we should all do ourselves a favour, and if none of us go see it, they have to cancel the film. Marvel used to be good. I've rewatched some. This film was some of the pinnacle of film and whatever. This was a good film. This just wasn't a bad Marvel film. They've somehow managed to fall so far that it's now terrible. I just think they should have retired. As soon as Robert Downey left, it's gone peak time wallop. So bad. So, so bad. And it's just sad what they could have done. But I suppose at least I think DC might take off now. And, you know, I do like Batman. I like Superman. Um, what else do I like? I like Flash and Green Arrow. They're cool. Let's just hope James Gunn can uh, fill the void. Because, my God, is there a void right now? And they're filling it with regurgitated niffle fine farts. Which means rubbish. Absolute titter tatter wata. And the MCU is dead. And, my God, is the Marvel's proof of it. Good night. Godspeed. Goodbye. Whatever. I'm going to go hit a wall.